Welcome to episode two of our six part series on the Atomic Bear gun magnet. Now, what we're gonna be doing in this episode is mounting this magnet underneath a table. Now, I have an old wooden round table that I'm able to put screws in. However, if you're trying to mount this on a nicer table, one that you don't wanna put screws in, I would recommend going the 3M double-sided tape route. And we're gonna go through both options with you just in case. So let's go ahead, let's dive into it, and let's mount this magnet on a table. Okay, so we're sitting at a smaller wooden table here, and depending on the type of table that you have, whether it's a nicer table or one that you don't mind drilling screws into, this magnet gives you two options so you can mount it underneath a table. The first one being this 3M double-sided tape that it came with, and the only thing that you're gonna need for that is a rubbing alcohol and a cloth. So the first thing that we're gonna do is mount it with this tape, and then we're gonna come back and add the screws to it to give it a little bit more stability. And the only thing you'll need for that is a 564 drill bit, your cordless drill, and then, of course, your four screws that came with your magnet. So let's go ahead and let's look at it and let's install it with this 3M tape. Okay, so right here under the table, and what you wanna do is really try to mount this thing about halfway back. You don't want it too close to where when people walk by the table, they can actually see the gun itself. You want to push it on back a little bit further and that way it gives it that more concealment underneath the table. So the first thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is you have your rubbing alcohol. I just got a standard just kitchen cloth right here. And what we're gonna do is I've got a close-up camera here and we just want to clean the area on where we're going to be putting that magnet. Try to get rid of some of that dust. All right, so it's not going to take too long for this rubbing alcohol to dry, but we want to make sure that this is at least three-fourths of the way dry before we try to put that sticker on. Now, we're going to get the back of the magnet and we're going to give it a few wipes as well with that rubbing alcohol. Now, you take your 3M double-sided tape right here and that's about dry. You're going to take the yellow piece off first and put it on your magnet. So, this is what it should look like once you've applied your 3M tape to your magnet. Now, let's go back under here and let's mount this thing to the table. So, right here is where we're gonna be mounting it. What you're gonna to wanna to do next on this is if you can see right here, that is the front of your magnet. You're gonna to wanna to peel that top layer off like so. So your magnet's basically gonna do this. Once you pull that off, your next stick needs to be firm for 45 to 60 seconds. That right there seems to have a firm grip on it. Now, let's just say that you're gonna be putting a shotgun or something a little bit heavier on here. Let's go back and let's talk about drilling holes to give it a little bit more stability, and that way it will be able to hold something a lot heavier. Okay, so right here I have a drill and the 564 drill bit on it. Now, what we're going to do is add a little bit more stability to this magnet just in case you want to have a loaded shotgun or a lot heavier item underneath the table. That way you just will feel a little bit more safe. However, if it is a nicer table, just stick with the tape if you don't want to put, you know, screws through it. So, right here, as you can see, you don't want to go too far with your drill bit because it's just going to end up on the other side of your table depending on how thick it is. But you want to go ahead and get your pre-holes. And you're going to want to do this on all four. Okay, so now take your drill bit off and add your Phillips head right here on the end of your drill. And if you had to, if you're worried about a drill being a little bit too strong and you're scared of stripping those screws, you can always use a screwdriver. So right here on the first screw, we'll go to the inside first. And 
Then we're gonna go to the opposite direction and the bottom. And you can already see this magnet get more flush with this table, having these screws in it. Okay, so once you get all four screws in there, you can actually really tell this thing is stuck on there great. All right, so as y'all can see, here is a close up. That thing is snug on there and it is good to go. So let's get a shot from the front and let's put this thing in action. Okay, so we're back at the table with the magnet that is installed underneath this table. I have a firearm that is attached to it. So let's just say that we're sitting here, we're eating, minding our own business and we see a threat. Well, what that threat doesn't know is that while I'm eating, my right hand is now on my pistol. And with a quick pull down, I can assess the situation. If it was a false alarm, I can re-engage my firearm on the magnet below and continue eating. So guys, with a quick pull down one more time, bam, and you are good to go. Well, there you have it, guys. Just a quick installment of the Atomic Bear gun magnet underneath the table. Be sure to check out episode three where we install the magnet on some drywall and try to hang some heavier type items on the magnet. Kind of really push its limits. So be sure to check out episode three and I will see y'all in the next one.